So this is an overview of um, a 3.2 kilowatt LED array. Um, got all these LEDs off AliExpress or whatever for seventy dollars, I think. So it's a pretty good deal for thirty of them. And then I um, pulled two out of one of my toolboxes because I uh, the way these are powered, are, they're all in um, series each string and these are mains powered they just simply go through a bridge rectifier to change it to DC to stop the flickering so much but it still needs filtering capacitors um, for cameras but to the human eye you can't notice it um, although you can't even look at it but that doesn't matter uh, it's just off a of lead which doesn't matter it's water cooled each one is mounted onto an aluminium bar which painstakingly sealed up each one drilled with uh, thermal paste behind them to keep them cool and this one flows water through these are swivel fittings uh, they're all connected to each other and then you hook a pump up with a bucket which I have a big bucket of water which still gets the water very hot but um, yeah it's just a fun around project that I wanted to try because I saw everyone online was making, you know, 300 watt floodlights and all that. And I said, well, I'm going to make it much bigger. Of course, there's bigger ones now because people have uh, made them for high speed cameras and that because now they realize that they're easy. But I think in total, I spent about $120 for all of it. So it's not too bad. Nothing on the back. Place it there. Yeah, you can see the filtering is needed for the camera, and I've got mine on um, auto exposure at the moment because that's how I have it. It's it's pretty decent floodlight, but you can't keep it on for too long without the water or else these bars get instantaneously red hot. So, I doubt I'll make a bigger one. It was fun, but God, did it take long to seal all those stupid leaks.